Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Glitch Pokemon Blue. As you might see, things are a little bit different, particularly with the screen size. We're playing like in widescreen now. That's just to show off a better thumbnail. And I guess the video looks better. It bothers me a little bit, but it does make it a bit easier on my end. I just don't like how wide the screen is. Anyway, we're gonna make our way up to the long range trainer. We're gonna do some more glitch Pokemon. Hopefully I don't need to save. Let's see. There we go. Jeez. So yeah, before I move on here, you'll see that I have a special stat of 196. That's which Pokemon we're going to cover right now. We're going to go over 196, 197, and 198. And I'll show you where to find the Ditto. That's what we're going to need for this. There is one trainer that I know of that has a Ditto in this game. I believe in Yellow as well, but it's in Selfco. I'm not too worried about that right now, but there might be something interesting we can do with that later. For now, I'm just going to hurt and get one. Um, Cool. <laughs> I don't remember who- oh, okay, yeah. I'm trying to remember like what trainers I've fought and which ones I haven't, but this is fine because this is yet again another Pokemon that's going to give us an unknown off code, but I just want to show you that for the fact of showing it, I suppose. And we're going to get owned by Paralysis. Where do I find my fear? Oh, there we go. Take him out. Oh, come on. Cool. And I'm just showing this because, you know, it doesn't take very long. Um, cool, right away. And so, because of that, we're actually going to show off a trade at the end of this for XX, because that's the Pokemon that corresponds to 196 in this game. And it's interesting. <laughs> you can tell by how often I, I'm used to using escape ropes when I'm in a bar mansion. Cool. Yeah, I still gotta get used to this widescreen. It's very odd. Like, you can just see like how fast we just start launching off to the right or left, but, you know, it's still the same for going up and down. It's like an optical illusion almost. It's interesting. Alrighty, so nothing too crazy is going to happen here. Yeah, right away. On an up code. Not very helpful. Um, so I'll make a cut, and I'm actually just going to cut to where I have 197 all set up. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Pro tip! Unknown op codes are very annoying. As you'll see here, we have special stat 197. I've successfully done the long range trainer glitch, as you can see here. And we'll get into a battle. This one does not give an op code, thank god. <laughs> it feels so uncultured. I can't tell. It sounded like Charmander, a weird form of Charmander's cry. Yeah, okay. I can always I always mix up Charmanders and Charmeleons when I can't see like where it's produced from. As you can see it also has a long name. Pokemon's name is Pokemon. And you can see here it has that weird um I, I like calling it black box effect, even though it's not a black box, because it's red in here. Which is really interesting. Yet again I also like the color it's produced from catching this Pokemon named Pokemon. <laughs> and of course I'm gonna give a nickname, otherwise it's gonna be really annoying. Something that's so interesting about this game is just that you hit like PKM in. And I put two spaces because it looks like there's two spaces afterwards. Um, just to stay true to it. I think it's so cool, like those sprites there you can see are like normally supposed to not be there. But then you go over and they revert back because the game, you know, is coded to do that, which is interesting how it takes up that spot. So you might notice this Pokemon looks very similar to one that we've already caught. It's number 250. It had that weird color, similar sprite. And it also has cool trainer, as you can see there. It has that blink move, which should be okay. Because I don't think cool trainer is possible. Like, it's it's not possible for you to give glitch effects on this screen, unlike Super Glitch, because it doesn't have a name. That's the thing with Super Glitch, is its name is actually what gives you glitch effects, or it can't be, because it corrupts the RAM. But this is actually a clone of A, <laughs> the first one, capital A. <laughs> Even the type 1 normal, type 2 normal. It's funny. So you can see it's a very fast Pokemon, which actually is one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. Um, a and a Pokemon, I'm pretty sure, because they have identical stats, and a lot about them are pretty much identical. It's kind of sad that we have like a clone. Different cry, of course, and um, I should just save just in case a cool trainer. And the same sprite and the color and whatnot. But yeah, it has that different cry, and um, let's just see what happens if I open this. Yes, yeah, so there's cool trainer again. Nothing interesting. Yeah, usually you have to work with it, and there's certain spots you need to go. Oh, that was weird. Do I have anything that might help with this? No, I don't. Okay. 
We'll save that for another time. I don't think anything too crazy happened there. Let's hope not. <laughs> it should be alright. I'm actually just going to deposit this Pokemon. Uh, first, I'll show you that little trick to um, increase special stat, just in case you don't know. So for that, oops. I'm gonna toss Starmie in the front. You basically just need to fight a whole bunch of Pokemon and then deposit in the PC, but we'll show the Rampage really quick. Just to show you, if you remember from the last part when I showed that, it only took like two battles. Now I have to do like up to like upwards like five. What's interesting is I actually, you can see it here too, that I gained three HP this time instead of just like one, for example. Because that usually is what it is, just gaining one. But it's because I have to fight so many Pokemon to just get that one stat increase in special stat. So let's see here. And I, now I just take anything on, like Metapod, boom, Caterpie. <laughs> Fair game. <laughs> Going on like a killing spree here. Too bad I'm not kidding. Good like Bell Sprout and Abra. Those are really good. So usually I aim for like, like two Abras at a time. Okay, Bell Sprout and Abra. That should be fine. If I didn't go too far, it's always annoying. Like I said, I think last time it's just when you go too far like that. You have to restart because we actually need 198. 198 is really important. And because of that unknown opcode, uh, technically 199 also gives an unknown opcode. And for that reason, I'm not going to show it because they're really annoying. So. That means we're actually gonna see something kind of interesting at the end of this too. We'll get two trades off, essentially, as I'm alluding to. Let's see here. See, I'll make a trade for 196 and 199. We'll see that. Ooh, 198, not bad. So I'll make a cut when I get back to, you know, right before the battle. So I'll see you there. Ugh, oh, come on, where are all the damn dittos at? Ugh. Finally. With your ability, you could become top leader in Team Rocket. Cool, let's see what 198 has to say for itself <laughs> after that's out of the way. There was no cry there. This Pokemon is LM4, which is a pretty important Pokemon, honestly. You can do a lot of fun things with this, I've seen. It's pretty interesting itself. I'm just gonna catch it right away, I don't wanna worry about anything. Yeah, the glitch Pokemon in here could be a bit difficult. Um, thankfully, these last two aren't too bad. Let's see what happens here. I'm actually curious. To my knowledge, it's okay. Yeah. So LM4 is nice. And it didn't turn into a Rhydon, thankfully, because it's a uh, normal dex number. It's 62, as we saw. So, as you might know, <laughs> it's such a eerie sound. But as you can tell, it's a uh, hybrid, a polyrath. Water fighting, you can see there in number 62 if you know that. Very balanced stats. And of course it has Polyrath's moves. It's nothing too special, but it does learn some pretty cool moves at that. And we'll just show in the battle, because why not? Maybe I'll actually play a cry. But yeah, it plays that very interesting theme, which I might show again here in a second. Let's show in the battle first. Rotata. Nothing. Interesting. Wow. Come on, beat it up. Some EXP. Oh wow, hopefully it doesn't learn a move. I guess we'll find out the hard way. Okay, good. I do know this Pokemon can learn Super Glitch, so that's what I was worried about. Let's see if it's like Z4 or anything where it plays a different cry based on the Pokemon. It actually works out. I need to catch this Pokemon. Uh, since I gotta make a trade here in a minute. Yeah, nothing. Okay, we'll just catch this um, Spearow. Neat. Yeah, having infinite Master Balls is awesome. <laughs> Highly recommend. And so, since I gotta set up some stuff on BGB, I'll leave you with this. And I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay, we're back with the ear rape as well, but I'm hoping it's not near as loud as it was last time. Let me know if it's um, bearable. If not, I'll just keep lowering it. I like having the music though, it just feels complete with it. So we're gonna make it the trade here. Let's set this up. Cool. That went a lot better than the last time I tried that. Okay, cool. This setup. I think this is the coolest thing ever, honestly. So you'll see here. Um, there we go. So I just discovered today that apparently in this screen, it doesn't show the nicknames of Pokemon, it shows the real name of the Pokemon. Because I actually nickname 
U, as you can see there, because it has a long name. And you can see that, so XX, it works out great, XX is above U, so that's the first trade we're going to do, but XX corresponds to Pokey W Trainer, as you can see there, and then below that, U corresponds to female symbol P, and then all those symbols, which, maybe I should have kept it the same. Hmm. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Oh, I couldn't, because it has a long name. That's right. Yeah, I don't know, trading between this generation is so strange. Everything about this generation is strange, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to do XX first. I'll let this play out just because it's a blast from the past in my opinion. Okay, so I spirit will be traded for that. Cool. Let's do it. Okay. Let's see here. Actually, there goes Spiro. I want to be more clear about something here because last time that we did a trade it wasn't entirely clear. Alright, so Spiro. Huh. I wonder why Spiro went first that time. Either way, okay, so we're gonna have, whoa. Okay, there's XX, it's purple and yellow. So then it's gonna come over here to blue and you'll see that it's actually black. It has a black effect, that Pokemon. So as soon as it appears on screen, it'll black out the screen. That's how you know we have it there. So that is, um, I believe, Poke W Trainer. I can never remember, whoa. Interesting, we've heard that before. Trade completed. Alrighty, what the hell? Okay. Hmm. I lost all visual on that side. Hmm. Alright, let's see if I can get out of here. There might be a way to escape. Hopefully. I've never had that happen before. Um, I don't know where I am. Okay, there's Spiro. Does that fix it? That re okay, cool, that fixed it. And... Am I just crazy or is the screen a little messed up now? I have no idea, but let's just get out of here. Alright, cool. Um, I don't want to cancel anymore on that side. Yeah, uh, this is so strange. Okay, let's just trade over um, the Spiro, actually, yeah. Okay, I'll cancel it, because that's cool. And then, whoa, what the hell, okay. And then, is that what I want? I'll lost track of what's going on, because this Pokemon looks different now. Oh, because that's what you looks like, technically. And then since the screen did that. That's really weird. Huh. The more you know, I guess. Sorry, that wasn't clear or not, but apparently that trade changed the sprites. Like the tiles that, you know, the glitch name pulls from, so it shows that, whatever that was from, I don't know. That's cool. Okay, let's move on now. So now we're going to trade 199 for that Spiro. And the screen blacked out like that because I guess it was the last thing to happen. Because, like, last time we did this in the last part, we, um, it ended off on, like, the garbage Pokemon, like, the Rhydon. I wouldn't call it garbage Pokemon, but the Pokemon to trade with. But now it's leading off with the Pokemon to trade, the Spiro, for the Glitch Pokemon. Which is odd, because this isn't much different, honestly. Oh, and then I gotta press that. Okay. Waves for all. Okay, cool. I wonder what would happen if I didn't press anything there. Oh, it's just delayed. That's funny. So it's gonna black out again on the, uh... Yeah, it plays the same cry, I think. There's the Spiro. <laughs> wow, this is something else. Okay, are we good? Um... Oh, so we're sending over you now. Okay, since it was delayed. There we go. I was like, wait, what's going on here? This is so funny. Like, honestly. Like, it's delayed on the one. Like, does that normally happen? I don't think it can happen normally. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Waiting. Okay. We should be all set now. Trade completed. Alright, good. I got nervous that something bad happened there. Alright, so we'll reset our screen, I guess, technically. And now we successfully got those glitch Pokemon, so let's get out of here. There's that thing about you again. Oh, that's just something else. Yeah, I have never done this before, so if I seem a little confused, that's pretty much why. But I think I figured it out. Alright. Uh, I'm actually going to make a brief cut, because we don't need yellow anymore. And we'll just go right back to blue. So I'll be right back. Okay, now we're back with BGB, full screen, more or less. And we have successfully got those Pokemon. So let's check them out. So this Pokemon has XX moves, which makes sense. 
the ground normal. Very good stats. And it has all the moves. And this Pokemon's actually nicknamed Rainer, because you can see it kind of bleeds over there. I don't know why, but I'm not sure if... Like, we'll, we'll see once we um, use ADF in this game, believe it or not. Because it's not WSM, it's actually ADF that you use to use arbitrary code execution. And we'll see from that, when we do that script where you get any Pokemon, see what the game says there. Because it's like the real, uh, the raw name, if you will, beforehand. Um, so this one has not as good stats as the other. Even though these Pokemon are very similar to each other, they have very good stats. And this has used moves. So let's check these two out really quick to end off this little part here. And we're stuck on BGB, not really stuck, but, you know, I like having speed, but I don't know. I guess now's a good time to compare whether it looks better on here on BGB widescreen or on on uh, VBA. I don't know why that was blinking right there. I will say, apparently I can't cover the whole screen on BGB, so if you see at the bottom, it should be where there's a slight spot that doesn't cover all the way. Alright, let's see what, oh, invert sprites. Should be alright. See what W Trainer can do. I like, I like that though. W, dub Trainer. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> Waterfall should be very effective. It said that the uh, back sprite here can potentially cause problems for the games. Super effective. Oh wow, we game. <laughs> we even bypassed level 8. Very good stats. Like That's why I highly recommend getting this Pokemon. It's even better than XX. It is stuck with Flash. Um, it's hard to get rid of Flash in this game, unfortunately. Probably the best thing to do is just catch this Pokemon in this game. Or not really catch, but obtain it using ADF. So you can just flat out bypass the whole idea of XX. Because HMs are just not handled well in this game, honestly. So let's see what female symbol PT does, I guess, is the name. Ooh, that sounded like XX. Or, I'm sorry, it sounded like Z4 right there. And that's a really interesting back sprite. That's like that was the coolest thing about these these three Pokemon. I like to consider 193, 196, and 199 kind of the same Pokemon. Not really the same Pokemon, they definitely are different. But they just... They're so similar. But they also have different things. It's really cool. And they're all like decent Pokemon too. Just decent stats and whatnot. I think this one was the uh, worst of the bunch, and it just downloaded, as you saw there. So it might have a glitched EXP curve from what we saw there. Interesting. Now it only takes 10. Let's see what happens with that. I'm actually curious. And I wonder if its sprite will change too. Kind of similar to Missy No, how it was in, uh, in Yellow. Any day now. There we go. Yeah, I'm not changing my sprites. Oh, maybe I should and see what happens with the back sprite. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, it definitely seems like Z4 where it changes based on the Pokemon that's against you. I don't know if we can... <laughs> wish I had speed so I can speed up this, but it's fine. Oh, come on. I can't remember. I think it had... Oh, he used Growl. I think this had better attack, but we'll just keep using Ember. I'll have to show these Pokemon in VBA. I don't think I have done that yet, actually. I think in the next part we'll revisit this. And also show off some more of the Pokemon. I think that's gonna, gonna do it for now. Let's see what its EXP is. Okay, cool. I don't know, I'll have to look into that more. I don't know anything about the glitch Pokemon in this game, especially those three. I know a little bit about the other ones. The ones that are, you know, don't require a trade. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.